guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting green to episode 2 of Akadama Drive. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Holy fuck, that's a lot of my ear. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, okay. They're not separated. I thought they were. Well, no, y you gotta kill. I mean, you know, little, um, the cat might explain, because the context, we need that, but, uh, yeah, you're in a killing game, baby. It it it's Danganronpa. It it's okay. <laughs> Just don't die. <laughs> Do I think she's going to make a kill in this episode? Probably not. I I would say because she's still, you know, plainly ordinary, you know, Chiaki Samugi. Um, I'd say no for now, but like maybe episode five towards the second half of the series, I can see her possibly killing someone. She's probably going to be the one who's going to observe for a certain amount of episodes and then when she does her first kill it's gonna be beautiful as hell and I'm just gonna be like look at my baby like oh my god or it could be something completely different we, we ain't gonna know until we get there <laughs> or it could be something like completely different transitions. Mm -mm. Thank you, Kadaka, for giving me all the Danganronpa fills I need every week. I don't think it's a robot. Yeah, it's an actual cat cat. Oh, you are a robot. See, doctor got it. <laughs> of course, but it just happened. Oh my god. Smuggler, you can't be an ass. You have to stay together. If you go by yourself, you might die. Oh shit, everybody gets money? Ordinary get money too? <clears throat> Of course. Okay, what exactly is phase two? <laughs> oh my god, murder, stop! <laughs> Don't 
the what? Sheen Conson. The fuck is Sheen Conson? Like, the police? Or is it like, um... I'm blanking. Um, a figure or, or something. Yeah, it has to be something that's worshipped. Mr. or Mrs. Cat? I mean, shit, shine me up. Y'all need to get the fuck out. Yeah, everything's gonna be okay, ordinary. Oh my god. <laughs> it's going to Tanaka for you. Sure you are. You, you got this. Okay, so Mr. Kitty, where are you exactly taking them? I mean, you got a secret base for them or something? <laughs> well, because he likes money. Okay, let me say this. If this was an actual killing game, in my opinion, I so feel like Thug <laughs> would die first. <laughs> Either he would kill someone, or he would be the one who would get killed. <laughs> like a murderer, he's so cute. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Cloud Strife, everybody. I mean, his VA. Mm, up there. <laughs> That's pretty. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> me. <laughs> 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 
like I am still looking to see if we're gonna at least see a Monokuma somewhere or a Monophony or like anything. <laughs> Oh my god! <laughs> no, honey, you're okay. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, what about Dr. Hacker or the rest of them? Are they alright? Oh! Oh my god. Sir, sir, you, you didn't have to say it like that. Like, don't, not today. <laughs> Matter, are you all right? Oh, you you're not gonna kill her, are you? Can you even get in there? Oh, oh okay. I'm just, mm hmm. Oh, fuck. Nice, though. <laughs> I don't know if that was a JoJo reference, but it seemed like it was. <laughs> okay, yes. Please, Miss Kitty or Mr. Kitty, explain. Oh. See, you say that, but then next thing you know, when we get closer and closer to the end of this series... Yeah! <laughs> okay. 
I mean, brawler, you can't always go going to Gokahara sometimes. You gotta be smart. Did what I just said a couple minutes ago not fucking matter? Okay, is there a way to get underground? And they come from above? Hmm. Hence why any other Ankadamas couldn't get past it. So then what the hell do you want them to do? I mean, no matter what, this is literally, like, impossible to get through. I mean, hey, it's a job worth a billion bucks. I mean, shit, that's money. I take it, you know, hey. But... Mr. and Mrs. Kitty. Are those executioners? You know who? Oh. Well, they're pretty. Everybody's pretty in this. They look like, um, not Mondo. What the fuck was dude's name? The, the, um, the hall monitor dude. That's who they look like. Very similar to him. I just can't remember his name. Deep blue. Oh, I'm changing the color. <laughs> oh, she got a lifesaver. Go ahead, try it, bitch. <laughs> Well, damn, she just got, mm. he wasn't the one that I wanted to go first, but damn. <laughs> no, she just an innocent.
Ooh. Bomb? Oh, okay. No, never mind. Mm, that probably was pretty, though. No, oh, I'm be sorry. Well, shit. Doctor's dead. Kadako was like, yeah, we're killing off Makoto Nayegi, Nagato Kamaida, in this. No, she's right. Oh, okay. <laughs> it was just her hand. Oh, okay. Oh, thank God. Woo. Thank you, Kadaka, because Jesus Christ. <laughs> I was like, let's not kill off best girl yet. Oh. I know they're really good. <laughs> well, of course, babe. Is that an eye? Well, it looked like an eye from the way. Okay, so let's just say this. I have some suspicion on Doctor. Let's do, you know, my little bit of knowledge of, you know, Dung and Ropa and ish. I feel like, okay, since we're gonna, I'm gonna talk a little bit about who I think the mastermind is. Because, of course, we're speaking through a robot cat. I was thinking we were gonna be doing something very similar to Dong and Ropa 1. This is spoilers for people who have not played this game or anything. But if you don't really care for spoilers, that's fine. If you do, you know, just stop right here. Thanks for watching the video. Okay, so in Dong and Ropa 1, when my best girl, Junko Inoshima, um, aka, we'll say it in a minute, got killed in that first round, everybody's like, okay. So we can take out Junko as being the mastermind, but then you find out it's um, her sister, Makuro Ikasaba, and you find out that Junko is the mastermind and not the one who recently died in this. It makes you look at this like kind of the same way. She, Doctor gets killed and Doctor can immediately just stitch herself up no matter what. I don't want to say Doctor's the mastermind. It would be interesting because of the fact is Kadaka and Megumi, they have worked together ever since Danganronpa 1. So they're like this. I mean, you know, she's also in the World's End Game Club, uh, the World's End Club that's coming out next year that technically came out for um, Apple, like, a, what, two, three months ago, I believe. Mission, oh, Mission Impossible, of course. Impossible Mission, of course. Um, but I, I'm a little, I'm still, she, even though she one of my personal favorite best girls and I want merch of her in Ordinary because those are my two best girls. I really, like, mm, I need that, like, freaking merch because they're just so cute together and I love them so much. Um, I, I just feel a little suspicious of her. We've met personally everybody and I feel like with this cat, Mr. or Mrs. Cat, um, or I'm going to call the cat like unisex cat until we get a name of this cat because I want to know the cat's name. Um, I'm a little suspicious of everybody because somebody could be playing this in a really good role. But seeing her die and like for a moment I did forget. Yeah, this woman can casually heal herself like it's nobody's freaking business. It makes me highly suspicious of her. I really wouldn't be surprised if Kadaka was like, yeah, we're going to make Doctor the mastermind because I think it would be a really good thing for Megamine because Megamine for Danganronpa itself, she's always been, you know, Makoto Naegi or Nagato Kamaida, you know, I mean, well, 
<laughs> the 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 lucky student, you know, the one you're looking for like, yeah, he's not that crazy, but he really is. And she's really good at playing those characters but because she's playing a villain in this role and you're you're going back and forth and you're like, is she, isn't she? And you're you're looking at any other character that she's done in any other anime that she's like been in because she's been in the game for such a long freaking time and I'm like I I don't know how I feel like if she is the mastermind I wouldn't be surprised um if someone else truly does die I'm, I'm not even gonna count that death for it, doctor if someone really dies out of this my money is kind of on thug thug he to me right now he's interesting but he seems like the least interesting um, character to me, but I still feel like he has a little bit more backstory. From the opening that I rewatched like over a thousand times last week from last week to today, um, and the part where you see the silhouettes of each person's face, you see like something like kind of their reasons of why they're doing this. Like with Doctor, she's like um laying down with a whole bunch of like flower petals on her and stuff. So each character has like a backstory on something on why they're doing this. I felt like with murderers, he got into something, maybe drugs or whatever, or a family member. I'm hoping that Kadaka does like um do a little more explanation on these characters because I wanna know about their backstories. I wanna know why everybody except really thug and um ordinary are doing the the reasons that they're doing why why did they choose a life of crime especially like hacker because hacker seems like he's the most fucked up out of the group i mean all of them feel fucked up but it's just something when i look at him and because i see <laughs> i see kibo and kokichi <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you might be the most fucked up out of this group, baby. I don't know. I mean, because I'm just going to go ahead and say it now because I should have said this last week. Yeah, every single week until the end of this series, you're probably going to hear like a lot of Danganronpa-ish because this is Danganronpa. This is Danganronpa. The Danganronpa 3 we all wanted in a way, or I would like to call this Danganronpa 4, basically. Um... But yeah, I love it. It's still good. It's just as good as episode one. There were some parts where I was like, eh, but I still love it. I have like so many questions about like, how in the world are they going to get past this? Because as the cat had said, and as doctor said, no Akadama has gotten past this second phase because no matter what, they've all freaking died or the executioners have probably came and got them or something and killed them. I don't know. I mean, I would like to know more about the executioners and what's their deal and stuff. The girl seems interesting. The guy with the freaking mask cover on his face and you can only see his eyes. There, there's stuff there and I hope Kadaka is able to flesh these characters out. If he's able to flesh out all the freaking Danganronpa characters, she can flesh these characters out as well. I just, I need it. Do I feel like we can get it done in 12 episodes to flesh out every single character? Maybe? Possibly? I don't know. I mean, I can't say for episode two because it went like that. Like, I felt like I was watching this for like five seconds <laughs> but I, I think maybe two to the end I mean not two to the end three to the end we can see them a lot more fleshed out but yeah I feel like by the end of this ordinary is not going to be the same girl that we're we're seeing from episode one you can already see it from that preview for episode three slowly but surely she is going to she's she's Chiaki now but by the end of the series this girl will be a like Samugi Junko and Nishima best girl ish no matter what but like this is still a good episode I loved everything about it heck I loved <laughs> the little thing the mascot talking oh my god that was like the weirdest part but because of the fact is if you play Danganronpa or watch somebody play Danganronpa anytime when someone died Monokuma's up there saying you know a body's been discovered so I love that like the still there's a little references there not big big ones I still want to see a Monokuma figure somewhere or like his face somewhere because I just need it. I, I think it'll make me so freaking happy. Same thing with Monof Monophony or like any of the characters, like a picture of them somewhere. I mean, they did a comic that came out like I think Monday, Tuesday that showed Monokuma and Monophony, um, 
Makoto and Nagito all together and that was like the best thing so I'm like oh my god are we gonna get that today and we didn't see it but like hopefully three to the end we get that but other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episode two of Akadama Drive if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day join the Metro Squad and of course I will see you guys officially all next Thursday for episode three bye guys